All right, so it's been 30 minutes. It's a wood cook stove. So it got a little bit dark about halfway through, or at least darker than I would have liked. And so I put a tinfoil tent over the top to protect the top from getting any browner than it already was getting. So let's see what we got. Morning, everyone. I am about to make some of my sandwich bread, my wheat sandwich bread that I just made less than a week ago. And I had a lot of you guys reach out and ask for the recipe and everything. So I thought as long as I'm making another batch, I'd go ahead and film it for you guys and show you how I did it. It is very soft bread. It's all purpose flour. You can use bread flour, which might make it a little more dense. So it's not as crumbly when you put say for instance peanut butter or something on it um but we'll go ahead and get started so i have all my ingredients together um i had made some biscuits and gravy this morning so i had to clean things up and i finally got it all together and we are ready to go so in my bowl i have put in one and one half cups warm water two tablespoons of instant yeast, a quarter cup of honey, a quarter cup of powdered milk, a quarter cup of potato flakes, two cups of wheat flour, two tablespoons of softened butter, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two eggs. And you put it in that order into the bowl. You don't want the salt dropping into the yeast mixture right off the bat, as the salt can kill the yeast. And you don't want your water too warm, because again, that can kill your yeast. So right now, I'm going to put it in my mixer and start blending it up a little bit. And then I'm gradually going to add my all-purpose flour about three cups depending on how the humidity is in your house how the temperature is in your house will depend on if you need all three cups or maybe a little bit more I just keep adding about a half a cup to a quarter cup at a time till I see it not sticking to the sides of the bowl and it doesn't stick to my hand. I'll show you when we get there. So I've blended up some of the ingredients and I'm about to start adding the all-purpose flour. Like I said, about a half a cup at a time. Okay, so, so far I've added two cups of all-purpose flour. As you can see, it's still very, very sticky. It's still sticking to my fingers. It is about 50%, 50 to 60% humidity in here. We've got the wood stoves going. Um, it's about 75 to 80 degrees, but it's definitely gonna need some more flour. Okay, I put all three cups of the all-purpose flour in, and as you can see, it is not sticking to my fingers. So now I am going to let it knead for about five to seven minutes and we'll take a look at it then. So at this point, I took the dough out of my bowl. I put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the bowl because that's where I'm gonna let it rise. And I'm basically just gonna kind of flatten it out and then start making a ball. I used a little bit of flour because it is wheat flour in there so I use the all-purpose to kind of stop it from getting sticky and I just make a nice little dough ball Reach that all in And I got a nice dough that holds my little indenture nicely. So I'm gonna take this 
and upside down. I'm going to put it in the bowl, spin it around a little bit, get some oil on the top. Then I'm going to flip them all. And I'm going to let that dough sit in this bowl and rise for about an hour. Excuse me while I get some towels to wipe my hands off. I cover it up. Actually what I use is a shower cap. I find it keeps the moisture in there nicely for the dough. So I am going to take my dough with my little shower cap on there, put it up there on the wood cook stove and let it rise for about an hour. Okay, so the dough has been rising for an hour. I am going to punch it down, flatten it out, make it into a ball again, put a little, put a little more oil in the bowl, and then I'm gonna let it rise again for another half hour. As you can see, it has rose nicely. So we're gonna punch it down. And get it nice and smooshed down in there. Take this out. Shouldn't stick. It's got uh, the oil all over it, so it will be good. Just flattening it out, getting all the air bubbles out. And then I'm going to make a ball again. Bring it all in. Kind of pinch it. Basically, I'm just tucking and turning. Ball, still got a little bit of air bubbles in there. I'm going to put a little bit more olive oil in the bottom of my bowl. Same thing, top it first, let it get all over the place on it, and then I'm going to flip it. Then I'm going to take my shower cap. Put it back on the top and it's going to sit for another half hour. So while my bread is rising, I went ahead and prepped my pans. I have two pans because it's going to make two loaves. I just sprayed down the pans and then I put a little bit of cornmeal in the bottom of the pans. Gives it a little bit of a crunchy taste. I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. It's going to cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I'm also going to get an egg out because I'm going to put an egg wash on the dough before putting it into the oven. Egg wash, just egg and a little splash of water in there, blend it up, and then you're going to take your little basting brush and put it all over your bread. And just so you know, I have been putting together recipe cards and I have been posting those recipe cards on our Patreon. We've got about, I don't know, nine to a dozen of them up there right now. Uh, this recipe's up there. I've got other bread recipes. I've got uh, my Dutch baby. I've got uh, homemade ice cream, all kinds of stuff. So we do post those up there, trying to get those done at least several a week. And they're all in a little collection. So you can go into the collection and click on and you've got all the different uh, recipes that I've posted. So hop on over to our Patreon, check that out, and then you'll have the little recipe cards for yourself. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, so we're gonna uncover this. And as you can see, it grows nicely again. We're gonna punch it down. Take 
this out and we're going to cut the dough in half. if I can get you pointed down a little bit better. There we go. I am not weighing. I'm sure you could weigh them and make sure that they are exactly even, but I don't. So I have two pieces of dough. And I've got my one bread pan here. I'm going to flatten this out and make my loaf. And then I roll, tuck the ends in a little. And then I'm going to pinch it at the seam. the ends, kind of tuck them up under because this is the seam is going to be my bottom. And I'm going to put it in the loaf pan, flatten it down a little. And get my second pan. And do my second loaf. in a little. And I'm going to pinch this off at the bottom. Put the seams together. Bring the ends in and pinch them. Make sure you've got no air bubbles. cover these with some plastic wrap and I am going to let them rise again one more time for about 30 to 45 minutes and there we go so we'll see you back in about 30 45 minutes okay so the bread has been rising for about 30 minutes I'm gonna take my egg wash which is just an egg and a little bit of water. And I'm going to put it all over the top of both loaves. It will give it a nice golden crust. Wheat bread's gonna be a little bit darker than the white on the top because of the wheat flour. This will also help because I'm going to take some oats that I chopped up and put them on the top of each loaf. Jason likes his oats on top of his bread. So, just want to get a good coating all over this. It drips down into the sides a little bit. While I'm doing this, I have my oven preheating to 400. And once I'm all done and the oven is preheated, these will bake for between 30 and 40 minutes. Way to tell if they're done is if you kind of thump the top of them and they sound hollow, they are good to go. It's been 30 minutes. 
and the bread's done. Um, I use a wood cook stove, so it got a little bit dark about halfway through, or at least darker than I would have liked. And so I put a tinfoil tent over the top to protect the top from getting any browner than it already was getting. So let's see what we got. That one looks pretty good. Oh, and this one too. Let's see if I can bring them over and show you. There's that one. That one. And bump. Sounds hollow. All right. So now I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna set them on the wire rack, let them cool off. We'll let you see what they look like inside. They look and smell pretty good. So here's the finished product. The soft, wheat bread I hope you've enjoyed the video if you like the video please click on the like button hit the subscribe button there will be more recipe videos to come and we'll see you on the next video